Well, let's see what it does. Uh, well, that was anticlimactic. I really thought this thing would work. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Cool sink, though. This, this thing has a gear on it somewhere. It does. Let's see. There's a gear might be under here somewhere. Yeah, this is like. I think it's stone. Maybe ceramic. I'm not really sure. Actually, it's, it's like warm side. I'm thinking like metal. Yeah, this whole thing's metal, I guess. Mm. I already hear beautiful gills on this thing. Mm. Under here. No. There's the sprayers. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy, huh? It's like, not really, that's, that's not the sprayers. What the fuck am I talking about? Where are the sprayers? Oh, these little dots. Those were the sprayers. This thing's awesome, though. There's the base of it. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Here and here somewhere. I don't, know, I don't know if this thing's from the 20s or possibly the 50s, 60s. But there's that. That's not here though. Carbon deep, this thing. I don't know how to do it with that shit, but as it says it. So, I see something vaguely here. Well, that's a, it says wash. Oh. I can figure out how to use macro on the damn phone. It never seems to work right. What does it say on it? It says, Wash for the town of Milwaukee, they say. But no year. Huh. So I've searched the internet for this, like this particular sink. And I found things that are similar to it, but not exact. Um, so I don't really know what year this is from. But, again, I'm upset that this is not, not working. So it would be really cool if it worked. Yeah, it's probably some sort of like pipe room or something out, out here. probably goes in there somewhere. It's like an office. But... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that I found this thing finally. I was just searching all around this huge building for it. But uh, it's, uh, it's quite a unique piece of history. A Bradley Wash Fountain. Uh, well, that was anticlimactic. 
tactic. I really thought this thing would work. <laughs> uh, oh well. Cool sink though. Look at this. This thing has a heater on it somewhere. It does. Here somewhere. Yeah, this is like, I think it's stone, maybe ceramic. I'm not really sure. Actually, it's it's like warm side. I'm thinking like metal. Yeah, this whole thing's metal, I guess. I already hear beautiful wheels on this thing. Here. Well, there's the sprayers. It's, <laughs> it's pretty crazy, huh? It's like, not lit. That's, it's not the sprayers. What the fuck am I talking about? Where are the sprayers? Oh, these little dots. Those were the sprayers. This thing's awesome, though. There's the base of it. And uh yeah. Let's see. In a year. Let me turn my light off. Alright. There should be a year in here somewhere. I don't know, I don't know if this thing's from the twenties or possibly the fifties, sixties. Carbon deep, this thing. I don't know how to do it for that shit, but as it says it. So, I see something vaguely here. That's a, it says wash. Whoop. I can figure out how to use macro on the damn phone. It never seems to work right. What does it say on it? It says, Wash for the town of Milwaukee, they say. But no year. Huh. So, I've searched the internet for this, like this particular sink. And I found things that are similar to it, but not exact. Um, so, I don't really know what year this is from. But, again, I'm upset that this is not, not working. So it would be really cool if it worked. Yeah, it's probably some sort of like pipe room or something out, out here. It probably goes in there somewhere. It's like an office. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad that I found this thing finally. I was just searching all around this huge building for it. But uh, it's, uh, it's quite a unique piece of history. A Bradley Wash Fountain. So here's another thing. This crazy freight elevator here. And, uh, buttons are ridiculous. I think it got stuck. Let's try again. Ah, 
looks just like the one at Sears I used to work at. And let me get this open. This is not like the one at Sears. Uh, huh. Yeah, I'm not sure how to open this part. So this thing's pretty crazy. The one at Sears, I think, I'm pretty sure it closed like that, like the same way. Um, but that one, uh, it had, like, it had this metal cage that I tried to open. Um, like ours, you just lift it up like from the ground and it was pretty easy. But that one has some sort of mechanism to it. So not too sure uh, how that opens. safe <laughs> this is what you stand on wow you could tell that this place has been around since like the 20s when they had just no safety code whatsoever got some cool things sticking out of the, the wall it's like some sort of water pipe yeah you got really cool windows like this one this is like mirroring the uh freight elevator so i think that that's that's pretty cool and take a few shots of this. And, uh, so we're looking over the top of the building. I'm right. So as far as I know, that building there um, is used for, I think it's some sort of like fabrication business. So there's quite a few like um, crafts type businesses in here. Um, like I was looking at in the last part of this, uh, there was a couple of woodwork shops and I saw something that looked like a printing press, but I don't think newspapers is a thing anymore, so I don't really know why that was here. Maybe it was like another relic, like the sink, but, um, this is just so cool. I love how they mirrored the elevator. Like, that is just, that is an awesome touch. Good job, 1920s people, for designing that. I mean, this whole building is really cool. Like, there's six buildings, so there's that short one there. It's building six. What I'm standing in right now is, uh, geez, what building is this? I think, I think this is, this must be five. And then four's over there, where my school is. And then three, two, one, of course. And uh, these have five floors and then the roof with the really terrifying ladder. I would not want to climb on that at all. That, that's just too scary for me. I mean, look at this fucking thing. No safety code whatsoever. 1920s engineering right there. Um, but yeah, uh, let's take a walk. Maybe I can find those other freight elevators that I was actually able to ride on. And I'm trying to find this, uh, what's it called? Uh, an overpass. It's kind of like a sky bridge, but it's just, as far as I can know, that it's just, uh, concrete. Oh, hey, I found it. Yeah, so this is like a little tunnel that leads out to the street. Can't really like hook the camera around to get an angle on that. You know, this door is open. So, let's see. Let's see this freight elevator. 
There's the free elevator shaft. I think, I feel like this one would just be the same as the other one. Because the one, let's see, the one that I went down last time, I remember at the bottom floor that it was green. And in fact, it might be this one. Yeah, because I think I walked this way. That's the thing about this building. Like, it's so large. Now, all of the floors are laid out the same, but it's just huge. Wow, check that out. <laughs> that is really cool. It's like, there's like different sides to it. Okay, so the down button. I hear something. I see something, but I hear something. Maybe it's up there. Hey, it's up there. <laughs> we find it eventually. I'm trying to think how the hell did I get onto this last time? There must be like some trick or something. So, this one. Is like... Same way as the other one. Oh, it does work the same one as Sears. I mean, the same way as the one at Sears. Oh, shit. This is like the exact same thing that we had. Wow. And Sears was much newer than this building. Check that out. That's pretty cool, huh? It's a nice, cool breeze blowing through this freight elevator. It's a nice, nice holes in the windows. Well, not really, but all right. So I'll close this up. Oh. Okay. Close this one first. Oh. Man, this brings back such memories. Wow. This is like the proto Sears elevator. Now this one is much better built than the one at Sears. Like um, the Sears I worked at. Like the, the freight elevator was formidable. Please don't raise safety gate higher than the arrow. Thanks. That's the arrow. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't think I raised it that high. And it's secure now. Alright, let's Whoa! <laughs> Look at this! Look at this! Wow! <laughs> that is like really cool. I don't know why they're shaped like that. Got like keys to reset it and move this. Thing. Clear trucks out of bay. No parking in bay. See Seattle. Uh, let's see. I want to go down to the first floor. What? I see three. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, this this makes sense. Three. Three, five, four, and four. And then we have four and two and three and one written over here. So I'm guessing that small three is one. So let's let's try that and see where it leads us. Ready, set, elevator. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh man. I love this building. <laughs> and it's going nice and slow too, so like I'm not gonna get dizzy or anything. I could just you know take a walk around in here. It's fantastic. Look how tall that is, wow. That must be at least like a hundred feet, if not more. And we're stopped. Alright, let's not higher than the arrow. Lift it to, so they don't want the bottom being higher than the arrow, so we're just gonna leave it like that. And how do I get out? <laughs> um, hmm. best guess. 
That's the that I'm trapped in here. No, I'm just kidding. If I press down. Nope. Yeah, I, I think I'm trapped. All right. Back up we go. Back up we go. Yeah, some of these, they're just real old, so they just get like trapped shut. Um, I'm going to try big three next. Wait, that's floor three. No, I'm going to try small four to go to three, to go to two. All right, uh, away we go. <laughs> I'm just getting a kick out of this. Wow, look at that. The elevator doors. That's nuts. Ah, see, that was the part that the other door was missing. It was the latch. Ah. It actually reached the handle that time. Closes with. Quite a bang. <laughs> ah, my arm actually hurts from that. Speaking of things that hurt, I keep getting like these pinched nerves and everything. It's a pain. Let's go out this way. Let's go to find that tunnel. Now we got a concrete staircase this time. What's over here? Nothing. Oh, well, maybe something. Nothing is through here because we can't get through there. Got a little keypad there. Push out. Got a push door. Dolly. And the outside. This is just, uh, obviously, this is the uh, dumpster room. And that isn't actually a room. It's just a dock. There's the elevator. Uh, I don't know what those bags are. I don't really care. So, yeah. Should have the tunnel somewhere close to here, I guess. I might have been pointing to the wrong thing. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. Yes, I found it. So, not so much a tunnel as it is. So it looks like there's actually like rooms going across. Yeah, this building is wild. Kind of reminds me of my high school. <laughs> Just a little ironic because this place was a high school at one point. Like at first it was uh, Singer, sewing machines, the headquarters. And then it was, I think, a uh, high school after that, and then it became a college, and now it's just, like, assorted businesses. A really small parking lot here. I should really invest in a gimbal at this point. It's, I keep having to switch my hands. that or I can have like some some arm mounted thing just have my phone just like sitting right there <laughs> so I'd look really cool with that right and so that used to be a dock there loading dock cemented over it and, uh, beautiful day outside today Could that be for? 
looks like some sort of shoot. Maybe, I don't know, does it just shoot? I found out what it is. It is some form of smokestack that looks like it goes all the way up there to some more underground perhaps. Got another scary elevator here. In fact, oh, these are the green elevators, okay. This is where I came out last time to put the parking lot. Yeah, these are these are something, all right. Modern loading docks. The elevator that I came out of last time was this green one here. Must have been that one. Interesting window grates. These really are interesting. I've seen many window grates before, but nothing quite like this. It's, like, it's pointed, obviously. Actually, a good design for window grates. Pull really hard behind the shape at the bottom. Smash the window and then get in that way. If you want to do a you know, B and E entry. Um, right. Yeah, so that is the short tour. Well, maybe a long tour. I'm not too sure how long this video is going to be. Um, let's say stitch it all together yeah, we'll see I, mean, I feel like yeah a short video and then it turns out to be like 20 minutes long but you know thanks to the 100 plus subscribers and i really appreciate that um and uh i know this is like a trope and it's cliche but um, that does mean a lot to me. And uh, I mean, obviously you guys like my content enough, so I'll keep making random videos and uh, you guys can join me on my random video making, I guess. I mean, a lot of YouTubers, they got their own like niche but me, I make the videos that I want to make. I was explaining this to a fellow YouTuber. And uh, he's a, um, I think he's a gaming YouTuber. Uh, I don't really remember now, but he said that if you want to be like gaming, you have to stick to one game and just get real good at it. <laughs> get good. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's video games. Like, video games used to be my whole life for a really, really, really long time. And I can't say that, like, beep, beep, beep. I don't know what that was about. Um, but I can't say that, um, I can't say that I remember what I was talking about. Uh, back in the car. Obviously. Got my duct tape. Oh yeah. <laughs> I have no um seat backs. And why do I have no seat backs? You might be pondering to yourself. Probably not, but I'll tell you anyway. Uh because the um seat pocket it broke. And I needed a seat pocket. So I'm like, well, maybe if I cut out the back of it. You know, then I'd have some fabric from the car to make something out of. 
because <laughs> I, I like the I like this fuzzy sort of material like it feels nice they don't make cars with this material because it usually gets kind of gross you know from sweat and uh, other uh, fluids <laughs> I'll just say don't, don't think too hard on that one um, but yeah it has these little metal things which work out perfectly as a sort of holder in fact these are these are way better than the seat pocket and as for the driver's side uh there was no seat pocket so i just i just uh did the same thing you know passenger to driver's seat and um yeah so now i have two little compartments in the backs of my seats and I could store stuff in there and you know <laughs> I, I uh, I'm glad that I now have the space because I need as much space as possible this car is fucking small like this this is not a large car this is a econo box it's the Corolla so um yeah Corolla Uh, every time that I see a, uh, what is it, a Mazda, a Suzu, I think it's Isuzu, Isuzu Tribute, every time that I see that, I have to quote this old meme, that it's like, this is not the best car in the world, but it's just in the news, so the Tribute, it, it, it's funnier to show a picture, maybe I'll put the picture here in post, um, if I could figure out how to do that in UCOT, because that's the only editing software that I had. I paid like seven bucks for it a while ago. And, you know, I I don't really do... When I use my computer, I use it for uh, playing Persona, mostly. Like, I, I just got Persona 3 Reload, um, and I got really far in that game on PS2, like with Fez. Um, I think I got up to, like, level 15 in Tartarus, so I was pretty well advanced through the game. I don't know how many levels there are in Tartarus, um, but I'm gonna get my bag back here. I'll have to hold the phone. We'll look at the sky and the train tracks, or the electrical pulses what whatever these things are called the cables uh words <laughs> words are hard oh my god um but yeah uh i've been drinking some energy drinks so i drank a uh coffee i didn't sleep last night so i'm like i'm fucking functioning off of no sleep um I mean, I drank a, a coffee, and now I'm drinking my second Monster. Actually, where'd my first one go? Oh, shit. I didn't drink that already. Um, yeah, I can't find the can for that. Okay. Well, the can is somewhere, and I'm assuming that I finished it. It was like one of them, them strawberry ones. Those are really good, by the way. So if you're, um, you know of age to drink energy drinks. So I don't suggest, for instance, what am I saying when I say of age? I say that um, young adult, so like 18 to, eh, actually, we can knock that back down. Like I was drinking some energy drinks when I was a teen. Um, I don't know, like 14 to, uh, I don't want to say 40 because that's like too old. Maybe like 14 to 35 or so. I mean, that sounds like a pretty good stretch of, you know, young adultness. Um, I mean, not including the teens that are younger than 18, I guess. Because y'all are still teenagers. Um, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> I have a trouble thinking. <laughs> it's if it's not obvious enough that I keep like trailing off into the distance here with my uh, monologuing. 
but um, as my ow, as my pin says, this is fine. Everything is fine, except the camera's focus because it's too dark. There we go. This is fine. I love this. I absolutely love this, and I find myself like saying this way too much, <laughs> like in context to just this <laughs> just everything is on fucking fire it's just terrible but you know we gotta we gotta have like our sense of humor still and uh you know i'm always trying to like find jovialness like levity in in such things like in, in life just something to make me laugh so that i'm just not like depressed all the time because i mean i am depressed all the time fucking bipolar as i'm sure like i don't know i mean there's a fairly large amount of us i would say um comment below i guess if you're bipolar too because that's what i am i mean bd1 folks y'all are bipolar too but bipolar too like t-o-o but you're not bipolar too, like the number. And we're a little bit different. Um, so, yeah. I mean, if you want to like share a little bit just about like uh, how bipolar is for you, um, maybe we can have some sort of discussion going in the, in the comments. But as ever, keep it civil, be excellent to each other, so on and so forth. Um, y'all know the drill. Just, you know, be a mensch. Don't, don't be a jackass. Um, and, yeah. So, uh, I guess that ends our video for today. And, uh, here. Let's zoom into the Singer logo. This is pretty neat. Yeah, they got, this is a new logo. This looks fairly recent, like, it was here ever since I started going to school here, but, um, I would say that Singer CT is relatively new. Like, Singer obviously isn't, they're really old. They're like over 100 years old. Ow. Um, yeah, but, um, losing my train of thought again. You know, I wonder if, because I'm not sleeping too well and, uh, not eating either, I just haven't been hungry, I haven't wanted food for weeks, maybe it's days, I don't know, but I can't tell, I, I just have, like, no sense of time, everything's just, like, this fucking continuum for me, and if y'all, like, can relate, just, you know, like the video, you don't even have to comment. Just, just you know, hit that, hit that thumbs up. Hang on. Hit that thumbs up. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that is the Singer CT building in Bridgeport. So yeah. Good shit. See you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.